Let me tell you a hypothetical story. Once a businessman decided he'd made it in life. So he went to the BMW showroom and bought himself a brand spanking new BMW 530DM Sport. Couple of years later, he decides that I'm done with it and I just want to give it off. That's where someone like you and me, a hardcore enthusiast, would really enjoy to get one of these. And that's because they're much cheaper now and they also have a lot of tuning potential. If you don't know about the tuning potential, that's what we're here for. Welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is a Stage 2 BMW 530D M Sport. To be honest, I'm quite a sucker for fast sedans, but M5s and C63s are so far away from the reach of so many people. But a 5 series that too from the second hand market is so much more reachable for so many people. And this gen, when it comes to looks, this is the F10 generation of uh, BMW 5 series. This looks super sleek, especially with the M Sport treatment. It looks quite sporty, but it wasn't enough for the owner. So he's done a couple of mods to make it a little bit meaner, like these inforged 18 inch rims with spacers. So the track is wider, carbon fiber, ORBMs. And when you go to the tail, the tail lights are now from an F90 LCI, which look really nice, but they're aftermarket, not real ones. And you can also spot the quad tips from the full system super sprint exhaust. So now when we talk about what's under the hood, it's a very versatile N57 D30. This specific block has been used in many cars of the BMW lineup, like a luxury barge that is the 730LD or even an X5, which is a normal SUV. So this engine is very versatile. Plus it removes the entire stigma of diesel engines being unrefined and not for the performance uh, oriented person because this during its development, it was prioritized for it to be a performance engine, not an efficiency based engine. And it does definitely remove that stigma. So this is one of the few diesel engines a tuner guy would actually tell you, go for it because it's actually really nice. Now the N57 engine is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it produces 240 bhp and 540 newton meters of torque stock and a simple stage 1 map can apparently boost that power up to 300 bhp and 600 newton meters all while increasing your fuel efficiency. But the N57 isn't the most pocket-friendly engine out there. Timing belt issues are quite a common sight and some cars, if not maintained properly and regularly, can lead to catastrophic failure. Moreover, it being a BMW and the parts bin being limited to, well, only BMW, most parts are insanely expensive. Apparently, one single fuel injector for the N57 engine cost between 20 to 35,000 rupees to replace. Now, since this is a fiver, it is a very nice place to be in the back because you've got really nice seats that recline quite a lot and also you've got quite a lot of thigh support. Everywhere you touch is very nice leather and plastics. You've also got this aftermarket infotainment screen on both the seat and a disc reader, a, a CD reader, which I mean is kind of old, but now you've, you can understand the amount of luxury that this was like eight years ago. But it doesn't really matter because you don't want to see all this. What you want to see is me taking it for a spin and ripping the rear tires out. So let's do that. Hold up. Have you checked out our website? Thedriversup.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this, a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. Okay, so let's get the figures out of the way first. Stock, this makes 255 bhp and 560 newton meters of torque. 
but now with this stage 2 e-tuners remap it makes 330 bhp and 600, 650 to 700 newton meters of torque which is quite ridiculous all of these power gains are thanks to the performance downpipe developed and made by check engines hyderabad and the super sprint exhaust system which sounds just too good for a diesel car take a listen plus when you get a 5 series you must have already decided that you want a rear wheel drive car because in this segment that it is second hand in the second hand market it has quite a lot of options because you can get a 3 liter V6 A6 with four wheel drive and you can also get a VRS so if you want a 5 series and you want to tune it <laughs> you're going to have some tail happy driving and this tu this tune is actually very aggressive so it picks up pace ridiculously plus it's a surge of torque it is just a quick surge from the bottom of the rev range that just pushes you like nothing else okay i'm getting distracted so if you choose the a6 like the one that we built the stage 1 v6 diesel you'd be pushing out somewhere close to this amount of power but you wouldn't be having this much fun because this is rear wheel drive and it's quite a tail happy car plus the long wheelbase makes it actually quite handleable to drive it is ridiculous what i love about it is that it's just so easy to flick into a corner and slide the tail off plus it's very nimble for whatever it is it's it's a huge car talking about how it performs the car feels amazing Woo! so talking about the engine the n57 has actually been developed for performing very well and feeling nothing like a diesel and that's exactly what it does it revs so urgently and it revs so cleanly all the way up to 5000 rpm yes that is still low if i had 25 to 30 lakhs to build something like this i would definitely go for it because this i think is much more fun to be sliding around having fun on a wet road in hyderabad than actually having a vrs or a four wheel drive system that keeps you nice and cocooned and safe this feels lary and i'm loving it The N57 basically is the most petrol-esque diesel engine you will ever find. The way it revs, the way it responds, feels like a petrol engine. Yes, given. The red line isn't that high, but these modifications done to the car reduce the diesel characteristics even more. This is basically one of the easiest ways to get a 300 plus horsepower rear wheel drive sedan in India without having to spend 40, 50, 60 lakhs on a used BMW M3, C63S and anyways, the maintenance costs of a proper AMG or M car are ridiculous. Probably the next step for me in terms of this build would be to add a proper intake, a bigger intercooler, some good coilovers and some fat brakes then i think we can confidently say that this can be considered as a cut price diesel m5 okay maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration and probably offensive to the purists but guys honestly speaking this 530dm sport will change your perspective of what a diesel car is huge shout out to the legends at check engines hyderabad for letting us film this vehicle and shoot at their workshop they have been absolutely amazing to us and in fact their work is even better these Hyderabad cars and videos speak for themselves and check engines is to thank for that. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Bhavneet. I'll see you in the next one.